we've been dealing with a lot of the nuances of Firestore querying in the last few videos. So in this video, it's going to be much lighter, nothing with Firestore. Our objective here is to add a floating action button in the bottom right of our application. And if you tap on that, we navigate to a creation activity where the user can create a brand new post. In order to make this work, let's open up the layout file for the posts activity, which is activity posts. Go into the button section and we need to add a dependency for the floating action button. Now we can drag out the floating action button onto our design and just select the IC launcher background just to start and we'll change that later. Uh, we want the floating action button to be 16 pixels from the right end of the screen and 16 from the bottom of the screen. So that's what it should look like. Give it an ID of fab create, the so floating action button create and the source compat is what represents the icon behind that floating action button. And we're going to use an inbuilt icon, which is IC input add. And sometimes the preview doesn't show up. And so in order to fix that, you can go into build and then just rebuild the project and hopefully it should show up properly. We'd like for the floating action button icon to be tinted white. There's an attribute for this called tint and I'll set this to be white. And now this looks the way we expect it to. So let's reference this floating action button from our post activity and add a click listener. At the very bottom of, on, of onCreate, we'll say fab create dot set on click listener. And it's gonna be fairly straightforward like we've been doing already in this application. We're gonna create intent, which will navigate to the new activity. So let's create that new activity here. So what this did is it created the create activity along with the corresponding layout file. Now that we have this defined, we can go and type create activity with that class and then start the activity with the intent. Let's try it. So now when the app boots up again, we should see the floating action button in the bottom right of the screen and tapping on that should lead to the create activity. And you can see that we go to this empty activity. And this is now where we're going to build the UI to allow the user to upload their own photo and their own create their own Instagram post. So like all the other layouts in this walkthrough, we're going to keep the creation activity layout really simple. It's going to be a linear layout. So let's go into activity create and go into the text tab. And I'm gonna swap out the constraint layout with the linear layout, which is a vertical orientation. Let's also add a margin around of 16 DP on all sides. This linear layout is going to consist of four different widgets. The first is gonna be a button and that button will launch an intent where the user can select an image. Below that will be the image view, so they can preview the image that they selected. Below that will be an edit text, so they can enter a description. And finally, there's gonna be a button at the very bottom of the screen, which will be for allowing the user to submit this new post. I'll switch back into the design tab. Let me talk about what I did here. It's the four widgets that I talked about earlier. The first is a button, give an idea of button pick image, and I'm centering this horizontally in the screen because the uh, width is wrap content. Below that is the image view, which has a height of 300 dp. And similar to how we're displaying the images in the feed, I'm making a scale type center crop. So the image takes up the full dimensions of the space we allocated for it. Below that is a edit text, which is ET description. I'm putting this 8 DP below the image view and there's a hint on it. And then finally, there's a button here. We should update the text to be submit, but this is also 8 DP below the edit text above it. And this is what will trigger the call to Firebase or Firestore to submit the image and save the image to their profile. So if you run the app now, we should 
see this layout when we go into the creation activity. Okay, so I'll tap on the floating action button and you can see we do see that. In the next video, we're going to build on this layout and actually respond to actions when the user taps on any of these elements. If you like what we've built so far, go ahead and like and share this video. Also hit that subscribe button so you'll get notified when new videos come out. See you in the next one.